What's up? This is Esteban Oreo. We're in the Falcon Ford Flex. This is episode number four. And uh, we're rolling out to the west side today, the west side of LA. We're gonna kick with the little homie Mikey Chacon. He does those uh, fixed gear bike tricks, freestyle riding. And um, then we're gonna go over to Bay City, get something to eat. That's my favorite spot when I come to the west side. So come and check it out. And you see, you know, what we're working with here. Nothing but the best out here on the west. And I'll talk to you soon. What's happened to me? Kicking it right here with the little homie Mikey Jacone. And I came out to, uh, you know, check him out doing his thing with his fixed gear bike. How long have you been riding that like that, homie? Uh, fixed gear freestyle, trick wise, about two years. About like two years now. But uh, riding, just in general, probably about two and a half. So, about six months in, I started doing tricks and just progressed. How many places is your bike riding taking you so far? Uh, let's see. I've been to Amsterdam, Portugal, uh, Rome, Paris, London, uh, and then in California, like San Francisco, San Diego, Sacramento. And how about now? Are you doing competitions? Or? Yeah, competitions around the world, man. Like I just came back from uh, Europe like two months ago. I had a trick comp out there, and uh, now I'm going to Indonesia tomorrow for another trick comp. So this is real fun, man. Just flying and riding my bike with different people. It's real cool. What's the difference between these bikes and regular bikes for people that don't know? Well, the thing is, it's a fixed, fixed cog. So pretty much the cog is locked on to direct drive. So you're going forward, the bike's gonna keep going forward. You try to go backwards, the bike's gonna stop, and you can also pedal back. So the thing is, like before you do a trick, before you like you jump off something like this. You have to pedal, pedal check, and then jump before. So you always got to make sure that the pedal check's perfect. Because if not, things can go real, real bad. You could get the wrong footing, and you can ET in the air, and it's all bad from there. So it don't have brakes. So how do you? What's the method of stopping it? Yeah, well, well the method is just skidding. You know, like I told you, pretty much going forward, and then what I do is lock my legs so the back wheel skids, and I just take a turn into the side. You know, so the thread catches onto the floor and it kind of stops you. I mean, it's, it's not the safest way, but it, it works for me. It's cool. You got hurt at all rolling like this? Um, I got hit once in London, but luckily I was okay. Got right back up on my bike and just kept it pushing. <laughs> oh, you got hit by a car? Yeah, it was a little taxi cab. It was crazy because of, cause the streets are opposite. So I looked the wrong way and I looked and the taxi cab was coming. Wow, it got me. But I was blessed and you know, God wanted me to stay okay. So all was good. So tell me what you know and like how you been involved in the low riding game? Well, I mean, my dad and his brothers, they've been having low riders since they were like my age, you know, even younger, like 16, 15 years old. They always had old cars and when I was little, I'd always see them, you know, at the house and stuff and I was always curious. So I asked my, like, I'd always ask him, like, dad, what year is that car? What year is that car? We were riding on the streets and stuff. And he'd be like, this year, this year. Tell me the differences, where the chrome moldings go and, you know. So ever since then, man, like I'll be driving and I'll be like, look at that 56 car, you know, like I don't have to ask him no more. I know myself. So it's cool. I mean, probably about uh, 11, 12 years I've been into it. And what about you? What are you rolling? Uh, my dad gave me a 1948 Fleetline. One day we were in the garage and my dad was like, Mikey, like you want this car? And I was like, hell yeah, I want this car. It's sick. He was like, just take care of it. It's yours, you know, so. I said, alright, and that's what I've been doing, you know, go in the garage, clean it in the weekends and stuff, start it up, make sure everything's alright, so, love that car, it's real, real sick. 